I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold Case Casey. Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. <clears throat> A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted hello. Signs. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Elmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna da Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland, too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiirre. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. 
Can nor run through a garbage can. Well, I need to get back to it. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like cold. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Tracks lead into the water. Where do you go? I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. We're dealing with an organized group of killers. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. 
forcing you into their twisted world. Nah. <laughs> What is that? These aren't the same tracks that we heard before. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Light is the key. To stay safe. But for something... The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the Witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something... Long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. I need to find the witch's hut. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. This fuse is busted. box again. Who's leaving these out here? This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. of the witch in the sign 
Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? For a while, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense.
Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Mom. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an ax in his raised hand.
He's here. Nightingale. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer who despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught, murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there, but he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake.
I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! They cut out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I... I think it is. Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Should look around. Is this the dark place? With the flooding gone. Could be further oh clues out there. I got the out. flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Creepy twig sculpture? A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people.
Animals are turning into monsters. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Doesn't make sense. not right. Something feels different. I should look around. Charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Another one of those rhymes.
Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Weird feeling something's changed. What is this? Oh, damn. <gasps> Another charm for my bracelet. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex. And the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality. A blanket over it, where they all overlapped causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more.
Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Creepy dolls? Mysterious rhymes? No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. There's a rhyme over here. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth the real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. 
Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Saga. Can't forget the dolls. Might need them again. There's another lunchbox.
lake wasn't a lake. This carving looks fresh. The oldest house had gone dark. Government put up a fence. Ready to go? 